Hello there. Well, it is Tuesday. It is the 17th of March 2020. Now, March 2020 is probably going to go down in history as um, the month that the coronavirus really, really hit the UK. Um, we're not here to make light of it. I don't think it's a situation to make light of. Um, we are, however, here to provide support. But support, I'm no medical expert, I can't give you medical advice, but I can give you support on crochet and knitting. It's going to be a very, very weird time. Um, and it is already a bit of a weird time. If you're out and about there at the moment, at the streets, some streets are quiet, supermarkets are crazy. We all seem to be getting ready to go into this lockdown. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bizarre time. I've had lots of strange conversations about it today in the shop. Um, however, and there's been lots of things on Facebook and social media is fueling this bit of a fear that we're not sure what's going on. Um, there are also some memes on Facebook and one of which did make me laugh last night that basically said to all knitters and crafters and crocheters, this is what we've been training for. And there is an element of this lockdown. We're all going to be spending a lot more time indoors. We're not going to be going out. I was due to go out tonight, tomorrow night for a friend's birthday. That's not going to happen. And it's right that it doesn't happen. We need to protect the more vulnerable of us. But we want to bring a way to bring us all together. And the girls and I sat down this morning, had a chat, you know, what can we do? How can we make feel that they're still part of the community? The Black Sheep is, um, it's a family business. We have a real community at the shop, a real community online. And we want to help you get through that. Self-isolating is going to be very, very difficult. Uh, particularly for people, if you live on your own, if you don't have a huge amount of dependence around you. Um, we may all kill our husbands or wives. Um, I'm sure the divorce rate will go up at the end. So we've we've had a few ideas and these are some things we'd like to come together as a group and do. Um, these are going to be shared on the Black Sheet Walls Facebook Make Along group, right? Not in the main Black Sheet Walls Facebook group, Black Sheet Walls Make Along. There's quite a few thousand members of it, but it has got very much a community feel and this is where we encourage you all to post pictures, some chat, etc. Probably become more chatty over the next few weeks of what you're making. The only caveat is, it's got to be bought from Black Sheet Wools. Um, <clears throat> it's a lovely place to ask for ideas, hints, tips. So we're going to be running these in there. So we are going to be redoing, as of this Friday, I am going to be starting a crochet, I'm going to be starting the Spice of Life crochet along. Now we launched this a few years ago. It is, we've had to move quite quickly, so we're going to do some stuff with black blankets that we've already got. This is the Ode to Autumn, Autumn version of the Spice of Life crochet along. It was a crochet along done in special, this is in special DK, it's in 13 colours. You can do it in as many colours as you like, you can do it in one colour. This is not about you dashing out and buying more yarn from us. If you want to, that's great, but you don't have to. Use your scraps, use whatever you've got. This is about us making the best of a really, really rubbish situation. So I'm going to be starting this. I'm doing, a, it lasts for six weeks, the crochet along. I'm going to do a week at a time because I don't know how long we're going to be stuck indoors for. So I'm going to start week one on Friday night. Possibly do some sort of Facebook Live or something. Madeline, my youngest. Amy's not going to be at my house on Friday night. Who, God help me if I've not got Amy behind the camera, but Madeline's going to try and take over. So I'm going to start this on Friday night, week one. I'm going to do these colours. This is special DK. I've picked 13 different colours. I've gone for bright. There's a lot to be said. If you look through some of the videos on our website, we've got a lot of stuff to do with mindful knitting and so on. A lot to be said to working with nice bright colours that cheer you up a bit. So these are the colours I've put together. And my darling mum over in Portugal, who I'm not seeing at the moment, um, is also going to do the same colours, which I really, really like. In fact, there's one... I thought there was one colour different, but there wasn't. So my mum and I are going to make the same ones and we'll post our progress. So download the free pattern if you're a crocheter. Join in, post your pictures, make it in anything you want. Make it in four ply, make it in chunky. It doesn't matter. Alter the size of the hook to the thickness of the yarn. Make it in one colour, make it in ten, make it in 32. It doesn't matter. It's about us all taking part and doing something together. Now, I'm guessing there's some people sat there going, but I don't crochet and I want to do something. This is the chevron blanket. Oh, sorry, I need to say that the Spice Life was designed by Sandra Cherry Hart, who has spoken to us today, thinks this is a lovely idea, so pleased that we're, we're all getting back together and doing something with this, and it's a super, super pattern. Now, this is a knit, this was a knitted chevron blanket by Linro. A lot of you will have seen this. We have this in 
um, online and in the shop sold as kits. We've got a couple of different colourways of it. We wanted something, again, something easy, something accessible for knitters to join in. I am going to be, I know I'm doing two things at once, so not like me at all. Um, I'm going to be making this. It is a free pattern available on the website. You can download it. Again, we've picked this because you can make it in whatever you want. If you make it, this is knitted in a chunky. If you make it a double knit, you could make a baby blanket in different colours. It will be smaller. Make it four ply smaller again, make it an hour and bigger. But again, it's not prescriptive. It's an easy striped pattern to use your stash. I'm going to do that in these colours to make it quite different to the ones we've already got. That is not, a, it's not a knit along done in part. But I'm just going to work on that probably every Sunday and share my progress. Um, so I'm going to be doing this Friday night. I'm going to be doing this on Sunday. I'm going to keep you updated on the make along group. We're gonna, we've got some other ideas of things we can do to bring us all together through this stressful time as well. Amy and I sat down at a chat this morning. Uh, some ideas of trips to the yarn shop. I'll be doing my usual videos as well. And, and as I say, if it gets to the point where we're all stuck at home, um, I'm going to be doing some. I'm going to be doing some videos, and the idea is that we might do a bit of a daily update and so on. Don't feel like you're on your own. We're here. Email me, message us. If you can't get to the shop. Go on to join, if Facebook's not your normal area, join our Facebook group. We'll make you feel at home, I promise. We'll try and support each other as best as we can. Thanks.